in the last few years, Vancouver's been in the grips of a, uh, a housing crisis, I think it's fair to call it that, and parties favoring redistribution on the left and, and assertive government action left, and on the right a little more caution. But that doesn't exactly tell you whether you want to do something about uh, housing in particular. You can have uh, right-wing solutions to, to housing where a party like Yes Vancouver led by Hector Bremner was in favor of aggressive rezoning but trying to get the market involved so a market-based solution to trying to address housing you can have a more government-led uh, solution uh, on the left as well so parties like One City are, are favoring uh, more uh, funding for, for social housing and, and quite a bit of that uh, uh, government-led action at the city level and asking for funding from, from other, other levels of government. And uh, so between those two axes, you get a, a better picture overall of where the parties uh, were in the, in the last election. We may see the opinions around what to do about housing uh, start to, to consolidate again within that left-right spectrum with a particular set of views coalescing, say, in the NPA, which had really consolidated support in the, the closing days of the weeks of the election in 2018, uh, a sort of a cautious approach to, to um, secondary suites, but not perhaps wholesale action. And on the left, a couple of different options, say, in, in Cope and in One City, and perhaps a return of vision as well. But you might start to see a, a, coal, a coalescence of those views once again in the next election.